life in Chicagoland can get pretty weird. But for the most part, mine's been pretty quiet. Ray Fernandez is the name. And I've lived here all my life, just going to school and working in my mom's pet supply store. Like I said, pretty quiet. Just like me. That is, until she showed up, crowding my door, demanding a tarantula, of all things, jabbering her vegetarian haiku-loving nonsense. Megan Yamamura was one weird thing I didn't see coming. And I'm pretty smart. But vegetarianism aside, something much weirder is going on in Chicagoland. After a few days at Megan's new school, she noticed that all the kids were acting, well, weird. Smiling nonstop, turning her in for reading comic books, enjoying the cafeteria's mystery meat? I don't know about you, but I'd have to be crazy to eat a school sloppy joe. Nutso in the head, insane. Brainwashed, wait a minute, maybe that's exactly what's happening. From Wonder Woman writer, 60s underground comics groundbreaker, and comics historian Trina Robbins, and Eisner Award-nominated artist Tyler Page comes a new graphic novel series from Graphic Universe, The Drained Brains Caper. Can Megan and Rafe solve the mystery of their classmates' drained brains before they share the same fate? With a furry new friend lending a helping paw, this team of pup-loving PIs could only be the Chicagoland Detective Agency. When Megan showed up at the store, again, I knew I made a friend, whether I wanted to or not. Foul food from Dark Pit. Monstrous nightmare for vegans. Liver and onions. What I didn't know was that we were about to get ourselves into a lot of trouble. Megan wasn't lying about the crazy stuff happening at school. Next thing you know, I'm on a mission to rescue her from the evil clutches of a mad, disguise-wearing lunch lady slash principal slash school psychiatrist? <laughs> Psychiatry? Talk about split personality disorder. Along the way, I meet a new friend, Bradley, a precocious pup who may have a knack for solving mysteries. To crack a crime this big, there's really no choice but to go into business together as the Chicagoland Detective Agency. There's only one problem. Bradley's a little... weird. Of course, in Chicagoland, weird things happen. 